What is up, squad? Stacey Irvin Jr. here, and welcome to this 15-minute full-body banded workout. I'm really looking forward to this one because we're going to get moving, we're going to get grooving with nothing but an exercise band working our entire body. We're going to do a full warm-up before we get into that workout, so make sure you're following along. Grab that band, grab some water if you need it before we get started, and possibly a sweat towel because it's going to be a worker. Now before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I created this as a resource for people to get better, get moving, and really energize their life. And so make sure you turn on those post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with a new video. It's guaranteed that this one is going to be a good one. So hit that like button and always feel free to share some feedback in the comments section of what you would like to see. Now, right now I'm rocking my first form pro shirt. I guarantee you this is the most comfortable shirt you would own as well as the Element shorts. These are some of my favorite workout gear to, to rock while I'm getting this work in and it's gonna be yours too. So make sure you check out those links in the description of this video. And now let's get into it. Business is handled. Let's go ahead and start getting warmed up. You can set that band down for now. We're gonna start off with a couple jumping jacks just to get that body moving. So let's get into it. We're not even gonna worry about a particular rep count on these. We're just trying to get our body moving, right? Getting started, getting those jumping jacks moving, getting the body moving. Breathing, breathing. High knees, you just wanna get started. Again, we're trying to get that body moving. Warmed up before we get into this full body workout. Knees high, expectations high. Head held high. <laughs> Here we go. Toe jumps. So just rocking through the calves, pushing that body up off the floor, activating those calves. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Solid, solid. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake out those arms. Elbow circles here. Yep. Elbow circles. Warming up is very crucial. Getting your body primed for exercise so you're not overexerting yourself off rip. Let's do some arm circles forward. Arm circles back. Very nice. And some torso twists. Let's do a couple hamstring scoops here just to get those hamstrings warmed up. We're gonna start with banded static lunges. Now, once we start, we're gonna be going. So let's get into it. We got 10 seconds to start. Get that banded hand, put it under your front leg, get some tension, and here we go. Starting with lunges. Don't have to rep out crazy quick. We're just trying to keep nice and controlled. I told you we're gonna roll right into it. And this is gonna be a good one. So again, keep that steady pace and keep it moving. Press through that heel in the front foot. Yeah, yeah, feel that work. I'm trying to get a 90 degree bend in both knees. Good work, keeping it moving, keeping it moving. And rest, rest it up, rest it up. 20 seconds, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now when you're working out with me, remember, we're not just working out, we're training. When you train, you have a particular goal in mind. So even on the days where it feels tough, you still get that work in, let's go. Pushing through that front heel, extending that leg at the top, tight squeeze. Are you sweating already? Cause I am. <laughs> Keep pressing through. Keep pressing through. Yes, it is going to burn. And yes, you are going to feel amazing once we get through this 15 minute workout. Keep going. You got this. Feel that pull. Kind of getting a bit of an arm workout here too. Pulling that band up and rest and rest. 20 seconds, we're gonna hit some banded body weight squats. 
Again, you can loop that band in your hands like this. So let me make it a little easier. And let's go. Pull at the top. Pull at the top. You want tension throughout that band. We're pressing through our heels. We're sitting back on our hips as we lower and we pull up. You can even hit a little shrug if you want the top. You get some extra movement there. Oh yeah, this is a good one. We already knew that though. If you come to this channel, you come to get that work, whether it's mental, physical, or otherwise. And rest. Good work. Good work, good job. Keep it going. You'll notice we're not hitting the same exercises twice. Next is good mornings. Let's get that band behind you. Get it over top of you, like this. We're gonna rock those hips back, push forward. Rock those hips back, push forward. You can pull that band over your shoulders if you like. Those hips back, forward, back, forward, forward. Come on, keep it moving. Great work. Come on, give it five more seconds. Feel that extension in those hamstrings before you press the butt forward again. Boom. Great work, great work. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> Next, let's double loop that band over. Step through. What we're gonna do, some fire hydrants. So, throw that knee out to the side. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go 30 seconds on each side. You wanna keep that knife edge of your foot out as if you're bringing your toes and heel to the sky. Keep pushing. She's activating that side glute. Working that side glute. Other side. Same thing. We're just getting moving. Getting moving. We're spending quite a bit of time on the legs as it's the largest muscle group and we need to work those legs, honestly. So keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Immediately after this, we're gonna jump in to some crunches. You don't need the band. So, over to your back, and let's go. Crunch, trying to press that lower back to the ground. This is 15 minutes of your day, moving. 15 minutes, just keeping it moving. What I like about working out is that it's an exercise of your will. When you do things that are tough, you get tougher, you get stronger, you find that you're more resilient, you find that you can apply your will in other areas of your life, and you find, ultimately, that your life improves. Not by magic, but because you now have the strength and mental capacity to push yourself further, demand more of yourself, know that you're capable of more. Five more seconds. Sit up, rest 20. Rest 20 seconds. We're gonna go through Russian twists. Russian twists. So we're gonna sit back and it'll be boom, boom. I want you touching the ground on both sides. Here we go, and let's go. Boom, boom. Again, band not needed for these core movements, but we still want quality movement, keeping that tension in your core. All the way through, all the way through. You got this. I know it's challenging. I'm feeling challenged. 
but you're capable of doing it. And rest. Rest for 20. Rest for 20. All right. What we got up next, Stace? What we got up next, Stace? We're going for a plank hold. 40 second plank hold. You want that static strength because it's going to build your core stability and protect your spine. And let's go. Low plank. Low plank, hold it out. Breathe it out. <laughs> Try not to think about the time too much, even though I'm a little time focused just to keep us on track. You got this. Again, when your mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breathing. You bring it back to your breathing, you're gonna realize you have more strength, more capacity, more endurance in you than you thought. Breathe, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, hold it out, and rest. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. All right, all right. After these next 40, 20 seconds, sorry, of rest, we're gonna go mountain climbers. So we're making that transition from lower body to upper body. This starts us with our shoulders, let's get it. Try and keep those hands under your shoulders, bringing those flexed feet, and bringing your toes up towards your wrists, bringing those knees up, and I'm just asking for steady movement. There we go, great work, come on, you can do this. It's just 15 minutes. After this, you're free to do whatever you want. <laughs> and rest. Rest it up. Rest it up. Stand up now. Grab that band. Step on the end. Have one end in hand. Again, we're starting to make that transition to upper body. So we're gonna start with side bends first. And pull. band is in your left hand, you're working the right side of your body. The band is in your right hand, you're working the left side of your body. Squeeze those obliques, bring that shoulder up at the top. Don't let your hips move side to side, keep that stationary. Getting that sweat going. Yeah. <laughs> pull, pull all the way through these 40 seconds. We're gonna go directly in to the other side, transition some arms and end with that arm pump. Switch sides, again, bend in the right hand, work on your left side, bend in the right hand, bend in the left hand, <laughs> work on your right side. Come on. Woo, steady work, steady work. Yes, yes, oh yes. <laughs> Get that pull. We only got about 12 seconds left on this one. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Yeah. Rest. Rest. Oh yeah. Now we're feeling it. Next up, we got some banded bicep curls. Work don't stop now. Let's go. Step into the band, grab the band, palms facing up, and curl. Take your time with the movement. Really feel the activation. Keep working throughout the time interval. All right? Get that pull. Strong arms. Since you're working with the band, you can adjust the resistance to what you need and what you feel. Keep going all the way. Curls for this whole minute. Keep moving. Keep that palm up. Keep that palm up. You can open your hands if you want. You can close, grip them. It's up to you. You just want to keep that movement going. Yes. 10 seconds on this. 
feel on that pump. Four, three, two, one. Rest it. Rest it. Now you feel on that one. We're gonna do overhead tricep extensions, giving it that 10 more seconds of rest. So I'm stepping through the band, swinging the band overhead. Hands are together, just elbows in, extending my hands towards the sky. Again, we're looking for controlled movement here. You don't have to be going crazy fast. I want you to control it up and control it down. We're doing this for a minute too. So make sure you're pacing yourself. Don't burn out. It should get tough. You can up the pace if you like. You push some more reps in there. But again, I want you just to be focusing on consistent movement throughout. 20 seconds left. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Triceps are feeling burned up right now. Keep it moving. You got this. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest it up. Rest it up. Rest it up. Yeah. Yeah. I know, 15 minutes doesn't seem like that long and then you get into it and you're like, oh, oh, okay. We're actually working, working. <laughs> so now that we got some adequate rest, we're gonna go ahead and do shoulder press for the last minute to close out this upper body circuit. So you're standing in the band, you're going to have the band here, and we're going to do an overhead press with the band for the last minute. And this one is going to be most challenging. So let's get it. Press through. Keep that core tight. Again, squeezing. You want to think of pushing your belly button towards your spine. That will brace your core. That will work your transverse abdominis, the horizontal muscle underlying your six pack muscle, rectus abdominis. And again, protect your spine. Just keep moving. I feel myself slowing down, so we're gonna keep it moving. We got 30 seconds left. Give me 22 seconds of effort. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Come on. Ooh, ha, ha. Wow, wow, wow. Great work. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Full body work. Did the thing. Got through it. Feeling pretty good. Feeling a little pump. Feeling a little pump in the legs, the abs, the upper body. That's all it takes is a little bit of movement and it'll set your day straight. Motion creates emotion. If you followed along with that, do you feel different now than you did 15 minutes ago? Do you like me a little more or a little less? It's okay, you can be honest. <laughs> but seriously, great job getting through that. Excellent work. I'm gonna go hit a post-workout shake, carbs, protein, refuel my body a little bit, make sure that I get hit that anabolic window to rebuild muscle, rebuild my energy, and make sure that I'm just recovering better. And I highly recommend you do the same. Tap the first form link in the description. Check out the post-workout stack. It will change your life, especially when you hit harder workouts in the gym with weights, higher intensity workouts. It will be a game changer for your recovery and your results. Help you lose some fat and build some new muscle. Guaranteed. Again, thank you for showing up for yourself today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel check out and turn on this post notification so you know when I'm coming back with another video. I love interacting with you guys, so make sure you drop a comment in the comment section for some feedback. Let me know how this was for you, and hit that like button if you got through this workout all right. Honestly, I've got videos throughout my page, throughout my channel that I think you'll find useful, so feel free to click through if you want to get another workout. Maybe you want to cool down with the meditation, or you're trying to journal your thoughts. 
check out my other videos, and I guarantee you're going to find something that will help your mind and body. Thanks again for showing up today. Thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for putting your trust in me to lead you through this workout. And thank you for putting your trust in yourself to be able to get through this workout. Now again, I applaud you for what you've done today. I appreciate you for spending this time, and I'll see you in the next one. Ride the wave. Thank you.